Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Dominions 5 multiplayer showdown. I am about to join again by Chris. This is episode 6, turn 6, with our series here. And uh, we've got a messenger, so we're going to go ahead and click on that first from Dwarf Comic here. It says, uh, a red crow blurs towards you as quick as an arrow. It delivers a message and darts away as if in anger. The message reads, Katis has already cast the first offense and offer war. While cowardly swamp lizards do not frighten us, I do wish to share with you all their main province, which is uh, 61. We're going to have to go take a look at that and see if we can find it on the map briefly. We won't search real hard, but see if it's somewhere in the area. But that's interesting, and we both were kind of considering that. Is Nucrium playing that? And I, I I may have misunderstood Nucrium's ability at Dominions 5. I'm not 100% sure on how much Dominions 5 playtime he has, but I didn't think it was a whole lot. So um, he's braver than me. I would never, um, essentially, as the saying goes, don't throw uh, stones in a glass house. <laughs> uh, so I would not I'm not a huge Dominions 5 professional and I would definitely not go slinging the first arrow uh, because generally if somebody's acting like I feel like uh, I, out of my experience in the last two playthroughs whoever casts the uh, first arrow usually gets the living crap beat out of them so it never really works out well but we had a battle that we actually got to witness which was uh, dwarf comic fighting in this independent. I think we should actually take a look at this, see if we can see his units. What do you think, Chris? Yes. Let's take a look. Oh, well, actually, we can look here, right? So we can actually see him. Hmm. Oh, you yeah, took some... He... he got some good kills. He didn't take that many losses, actually. No. Cataphract Commander. Yeah, pretty tough. No, he's pretty good. The Centaur Sage. Some Astral. Adapt Researcher. Nice. Yeah. Minotaur Soldiers. These guys are pretty good. But they're not, and I think we already knew this, they're not sacred. Nope. Alright. Nice. And he, he definitely won that. It was good. All right, and then we got unexpected events. Um, children have been disappearing from settlements close to the woods. The villagers demand that someone look into the matter. At least a handful of men will be needed to effectively search the area. Oh, interesting. Gave us two unrest. I think we took unlucky, didn't we? For our <laughs> Yeah. So these are not going to be good. Oh, that's not bad, though. Local wizard has been lynched after allegations of turning a peasant into a frog. His magical resources have been transported to the lab. So we got some fire and astral pearls. All right. Yeah. It's free, so you you can you can indeed get pretty good events even with misfortune. It's just that the chances are lower. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we got pretty lucky there. Sixty-one. Where do we think sixty-one is? We said there. Oh, there we go. Ah. So Nucrium's to our north. Actually, that makes me feel pretty good. We've got allies to our south because Dwarf Comic and us, you know, we're not really going to be clashing. Um, I feel too much. Me and Dwarf Comic have been allies in the last series, and even the series before that, we were allies until he kind of backstabbed me near the end there. But we've got Ulm, which we're just kind of ignoring, and we've got Nucrium now to our north. So we can already safely say that I don't believe Nucrium has actually attacked Dwarf Comic. So who did he attack is the question. Because yeah. I don't think Nucrium's bordering. It's not. Dwarf Comic. So he attacked somebody else, and then that person informed uh, Dwarf Comic, which is actually interesting because you figure that it would have taken a turn for that message to send, which means Nucrium actually declared war probably two turns ago because it would have taken one turn for somebody to send a message to Dwarf Comic saying that Nucrium declared war, and then another turn for Dwarf Comic to send that message to everybody else. Uh, it could be that that, that uh, his, his scout had seen a battle, and, mm. and that's why he... <laughs> <laughs> that Nukrim attacked somebody. <laughs> nah, that's true. That's very true. I wonder it who could, it, it was. Could very well just, it could very well just be the a bump uh, uh, and, and, uh, an accidental uh, fight between uh, two persons trying to take the same same province. Yeah, same exactly. <sighs> well, at least you know where he is now. I guess we'll go ahead here and get our Hydras consolidated. We were going to put them on uh, this unit here. 
Yes. Uh, in two groups, I in think. In two groups? That makes yes. sense, actually. Yeah. One on each side, kind of like this. No, no, we, we, because we have flyers, so we want uh, one uh, in, in, the, in back. the back, and then and then I put the commanders in the middle, and then put the other guy, other height was uh, way, uh, way to the front, actually. Commander in the middle, these hydras in the front, like uh, this? More, more, more in the front. The, because they, 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 they're the one that, that should attack the archers. Uh, okay. So that we might as well put them all the way in the front. Uh, Will they be able to be they, blessed though? Yes, because I wanted to put the commanders in the, in the, there. Right yes. here? Yes. Okay, you want to yeah. put, uh, you want to leave him in the back, right? Right here? Uh, no. Because he 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 he's just going to be killed by the the Pegasi if uh, okay so put him there. The usually jump to the back, uh, and also we want to send one acolyte with him so that they mm -hmm. can actually bless all the. Okay, the acolyte just right in the center as well. Uh, I'm actually thinking that maybe you should put them him a bit to the side so he's not. He can't be, be targeted by the same, uh, yes, like that, uh, okay. the same pick as I. And make sure he's set to cast spells, cast specific. We need a, two blessings. And then yeah, just... Probably, uh, make a tr probably make a three blessings, actually, uh, just to be safe. Okay, and then we can set him to cast spells as well, blessing. Yeah, yes. Probably three of these as well, just in case. Yeah. Yes. Just in case something happens to one of these yeah. guys. <clears throat> okay, that looks like that's it. Who do yeah. we grab here? Nam Nam Chadnez. So we've got Nam Chadnez and Traken. I'm uh, these two guys. I'm thinking we just put them on research for now. Yes. And then we've got these two. Uh, we did move our units down here. So we wanted to consolidate all this yes. onto uh, this guy here. And the, the one in the garrison too. We built uh, one unit. Ah, that's right. We did build one. I'm glad you remembered. Where is he? He's right here, up here. Nice. Yeah, I forgot we built one. Okay. That looks good. I guess we could just move him back. To pick up more yep. hydras. Yes. And for him, we could probably just move him back too to keep moving around. Exactly. Units. And I think we agreed that this would be enough here yes. to attack here. Yes. So we're going to move into here. That's going to be, let's see, it contains about 30 enemy units, mainly heavy infantry and heavy cavalry. That should definitely be enough. I think we keep them on the front at attack closest. Yeah, should we put him in the good. should we keep him here at the back? I think so, yes. And attack closest. Cuz there's no crossbowmen or anything. They're just going to go right into the cavalry. You think those cavalry are going to flank? Should we send one more command? No. I I think that our line is broad enough to stop them. Long enough to stop them. Yeah. I think it's, it's. I don't think they will get around to such a big line. Okay. And then, what else? All right. And then, okay. So, what do we want to do with the four hydras? Oh, we've got some uh, surfing cataphracts too. Do we want to put them as well? Or do we want to wait? Till yeah. We yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, put them as bodyguards for the. The Aqualite or no. the... Uh, no, the, the priest. Deacon. Yeah. Yes. Um, okay, they're just going to... They're going to be right... Oh, it actually automatically sets them on top of them. It does. Did it do that in Dominions 4? No. You, okay. could, you could also have, have many more bodyguards, but you can only have five bodyguards. In, oh, in interesting. Five. Yeah. Okay, I was going to say, it didn't... I think you mm -hmm. used to have to put it right on top of the commander yeah. for it to really work good. Or they would just move wherever he was. But yes. Cool. And yeah, I remember being able to have a ton, because I had a ton of lictors as bodyguards on my lich. 
I probably had like 45 electors as bodyguard or something. All right. So with that, this unit, I guess we want to attack this. It says 70 enemy units, mainly Amazons and Pegasus riders. Do you think that we can do it? I'm nervous. 70. That's a lot, but uh, but uh, the, the, one of the first time we looked at it, it's it said um, said a lot more lower number. So it's I think yeah, I think it's gone number. up. Yeah, we could. Um, the I, only thing I, I think, I think we, can, we could do is if we went around and took Wolf's March. Nah, let's let's just go for it. I think. Uh, I mean, I we, just. As, as long as they, they don't attack the commanders, the hiders will have no problem uh, killing these, even if, even if there is a lot. And there is, I'm you pretty sure so? there's not, uh, not. There's not 70. <laughs> because uh, I, I think one of the first turn we looked at it, uh, uh, there was this, it said 30 or something like that. So, so it's probably not more than 50, 60 at, at most. Yeah. And uh, the Hydras uh, are resistant to all the damage that they do so because they only do blunt and, and uh, pierce damage. And these guys will make good guards. I don't think we're going to lose a commander. Yeah. We could if, if they jump directly on him. Uh, but normally they go all the way to the back. Uh, yeah. So they should uh, attack the two Hydras in the back. Uh, I think this is, I mean, let's take the chance, right? What do we got to yeah. lose other than all our hydras? As, uh, the thing is, if we lose, the, they're, they're all going to die of the poison, so we can take the province next turn. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And hopefully the hydras, some of them will get away if it goes real bad. But I think yeah. that we're going to do enough damage that you're right. I think we'll be able to take mm -hmm. it next turn regardless. I mean, you got to break a few eggs to make an omelet, right? So... I mean, you, you saw that when we attacked the, the heavy cab, how, how the hydras, even when they were fleeing, they had no problems killing the, the heavy cab. And, and heavy cab is, is actually stronger than, uh, than Pegasus, Pegasus riders, except for that the, the, they have very high defense. But Yeah, yeah, we made that, short work of the heavy cab. Yeah. But the that, hydras are no joke. They're really tough, especially with those blessings. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go for that. We'll go ahead and keep recruiting. We got a good amount of gold now. We want to get a Hydra. I think we talked about getting another Surf and Aqualite, right? For research. Uh, try to see how many cataphracts you can uh, get first. I need to get four. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's exactly the when exactly have the money for one. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty good setup there, right? Yeah. 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 I think that it's works out well. Perfect. Yeah. Do we need to put oop, not that. Do we need to put we don't have any money anyways. I was gonna say I thought we no. took some yeah. defense off of the swap. Yeah, yeah that's what it was. It is, it's not it can go another turn, yeah. I think it'll be okay. Yeah. It's I unlikely it. that anybody take it, and it's not a very valuable province. No, it's not. No, there's really nothing there. And worst case scenario, we just take it back. Okay, so hopefully we'll have good lands next turn, and I'm thinking we'll have. I'm hoping we'll have uh, Gornahor or Gornahor, Gorna. We'll just call it Gorna. That'd be a nice one to have. Uh, and then from there, if we do manage to take that, we we really could move into, depending on what's left of us, which I feel like we're going to do pretty well. We could move in the Nether Wallop or Wolf's March. Both of those are pretty easy. Or they're really easy to take. We might even be able to split up and, and if both commanders both. Uh, survive and so take both, yes. Yeah, that'd be great. And then we'll see what's in Bleak Grove. I'm hoping that Nucrium hasn't moved down to Bleak Grove yet. Because I really want to take that. It'd be yeah. a good bottleneck. I mean, th this is a bottleneck too, because he can't only yeah. he can only move from mm -hmm. Bleak Grove down. But at least from here, you know, we can, you know, this would be a defendable position. Yeah. As we, long we as probably uh, want, we actually probably want to build a fort in uh, 
in, in the Amazon province because uh, that will allow us to uh, make them make it faster. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, you know what else too is really great? Knowing that Nukrium is here, we've got Ulm, which is Battle Moose and Dwarf Comic. Um, but in terms of like Ulm and uh, uh, Katis here, I'll say, how do you say that? Sitis, I think. Sitis? Okay, yeah. so Sitis there. Um, neither of them are really amphibian. I mean, we aren't either, but we're going to make a beeline for the water provinces. So I feel like we can get these before they do. And I want to get the gale up too, if we can. Yeah. Huh. It's actually got Ulm's uh, dominion, so he must have providence here. No, it's not. The dominion can spread uh, Fairly very far, far away from. Yeah, yeah, so you never know. I was looking to see if any. See, this doesn't have our dominion, but this one does. Yes. And Goodlands yes. doesn't, so our dominion doesn't spread as hardcore. Huh. Okay. All right, well, either way, I think that's the end of this turn. I think we're all set. What do you think? Did we miss anything? Yeah. I don't think so, no. All right, perfect. So with that being said, we want to thank you all for joining us. We hope that you've enjoyed it. We look forward to seeing you next time.